What's going on guys? This is MRCP and today I'm here with an ARC video about Cryopods. Now Cryopods was released uh, on Xbox at least yesterday, uh, November November 13th it came out. The ex uh, Extinction DLC came out for PS4 and Xbox One. Came out a week ago for PC. But today we're going to talk about, in particular, the Cryopods. It's pretty much a pod that you can craft to store your dinos and we'll get into more of that in a minute there's a couple things has of the 14th of November 2018 that you must know first is you have to have a character that's at least level 88 if you want the pods and the fridge you also have to transfer that character over to the extension map to learn the engrams again that's probably going to change hopefully where they become available to everybody and you don't have to move your character around and all that stuff but for now that's how it is um, and the another thing is you're gonna have to have a uh, replicator okay so once you once you transfer your character over if you have a character level 88 or above you learn engrams you come back to your your main server which I'm on the center right now and uh, just to throw it out there I play on official PVE um, so arc official servers so once you once you learn how to make them it will be makeable in your tech replicator. Here's the fridge right here. The fridge is 25 crystal, 15 element, uh, 225 metal, and 60 polymer, which I already have a few of those made, so we don't need those. And the pods are a lot less, a little bit less than that. It's a uh, 10 crystal, 15 fiber, 5 hide, 2, two metal ingots, 4 oil. And eight polymer. As you can see, I made a couple already. I already have uh, some pods in my inventory. So once you get the pods made and you're ready to store your dinos, you just go up to the dinos you want. And so, again, once you store a dino, it takes it away from your tame cap. So right now, it says I'm 54. My tame limit is 54 out of 500. Once I store this fella, or lady, I mean. So as long as the pod is in your hand, you just walk up to your dino. And you hit the, wait, let's check the dino cap. Now it says 53 out of 500, so it did go down one. Let's do it one more time. So 53 out of 500. This is going to help out in a lot of ways if you play on official uh, servers. Uh, for the most part, being that dino cap every time there's a two times uh, taming event is should be over with with these pods. But we'll see. Now once you got your dinos in your pod, I already placed this fridge, this uh, cryopod fridge. It needs to be powered. It needs to be powered by a... Um, a generator and things so I got it powered by a regular generator so as long as it's powered you're good to go so the pods itself they'll last in your inventory for 30 days so as you can see it says 29 days 23 hours um, it says charge 29 days 23 hours so you have to charge charge these pods as long as these po pods are charged your dino is good and is in your inventory it lasts like I said 30 days and it counts down from there. If you put them in the fridge, the cryopod, fri uh, cryopod fridge, it'll start recharging that pod and it would eventually go back up to 30 days, like these ones up here. 30 days, and it doesn't go down. So they, they last forever in the, uh, the fridge as long as it's powered. Now, if I go over here, so the top one says 30 days. This one says 30 days. Now if I go over here and I turn off the generator, say for instance your generator runs out of gas, well then it starts to count down. 29 days, 23 hours. So you gotta make sure you keep, if you got some good dinos in there or any dinos that you wanna keep, you gotta make sure that your, you know, your gas and your generator stays, uh, your generator stays full of gas. 
that's us uh, capturing our, our dinos that we wanted and put them in the, uh, in the fridge. Uh, if you put them in a regular fridge, the 30 days just counts down. So a regular fridge, nothing really does anything for these pods unless it's the cryopod or the cryo fridge. Uh, but you can't, you do have 30 days to keep them on your body or in the fridge or whatever. But after 30 days, it will, uh, the pod won't work anymore for your dino and you will lose your dino and your pod. Now the pods are reusable. So if I, let me make sure this guy has some. So if I use, let me throw these in, just so I don't get uh, confused. Gigasaurus. So there's two things that I noticed playing around with these pods. I'm gonna put the Giga back, because I don't have room for them right now. Not inside my base. So also, if you, if you hover over the pod, it tells you the name of whatever you name your dino. And it says Argentavis. So it's Cryopod, Joker, A88, level 287, Argentavis. So you do know what, what dino you're pulling out, which is pretty good. As long as you name them appropriately. Or just name them at all. So I'm going to throw out this first one. And what I notice that if I throw out this, oh, maybe my timer didn't cool down. So you throw them out. Sometimes your first one, as long as it depends on how long it's been, it will, will land on its feet ready to go. The other ones will be unconscious. And as you can see in my right hand corner on the bottom, it starts counting down from 300 seconds. So 300 seconds, I can't repod this dyno, uh, for my experience anyway. I could be could be wrong, but I can't repod this dyno for for 300 seconds. So you know, keep that in mind when you're doing if you happen to do trades or anything like that. Also, another cool feature about these uh, uh, these cryopods is I have a baby Inkleo right there, and uh, he's still unconscious because obviously I tried it out before before the video, but. Uh, He's about to wake up, and he's one percent. Uh, he's one percent matured. But I have to go to bed. I have to go to work. I have to go to the store. I have to go do whatever. You can pod him. You can pod your babies. It stop. It freezes everything. Uh, so if you have like an engram that you don't want to miss, you can pod it up, and it'll freeze it. And when you pull it back out, it will just continue on. Now I think since it's so fast that his his uh, unconsciousness because I pulled him out about a couple minutes ago just to test it out, but I think his consciousness is going to be the same because I'm I'm throwing him down so fast. Let's see. Nope, his consciousness goes all the way back up to 100. So that's the that's the thing, and also. You have to feed if it's a baby like this that's you know relying on food. You still have to feed them if they're unconscious. So uh, I made a mistake by like oh he's unconscious right now. I don't know what I was thinking. I had another one here and I didn't feed it when I threw it out and when I got back to it he was dead. <laughs> so you do have to feed your baby still. Make sure there's food in the inventory. And obviously since I threw this one back out, the the timer on my end resets so I can't. I can't pod this this dino for another 300 seconds. It won't let me. But even though my timer reset, I'm gonna be able to pod this one after 300 seconds of me throwing this one out. So we'll check back in in a little bit. I can't pod it right now because it hasn't been 300 seconds. But oh yes, I can. All right. Well, that's per, that's been give or take for me, and I've only tried this a few times, so keep that in mind. That's been give or take. Sometimes it lets me, sometimes it don't. But either way, after your 300 seconds is gone, you're good to repot them, uh, cryopot them back up, and put them back in the, in the fridge. Keep your dino caps low, keep the lag low if you're playing on like a fish roll or a busy server. Um, it's a great thing. It's a great thing to have. So let me know what you guys think of this new cryopod feature. I think it's amazing. I think it's going to change the game almost as far as uh as i said keep in mind i do play on a pve <laughs> official server so 
everybody's going to use them for for you know different things. I mean, I can imagine what you can do on PvP with the with these things and. I haven't tried it on PvP, so things, the timers and stuff may change. I'm not 100% sure. But that's the basic look over the uh, the cryopods. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. Hope it helped you out just a little bit because I had a lot of questions when I, uh, when I first heard about them. So they last for 30 days. Right now you do have to, just a quick recap, <laughs> you do have to go over to Extension and learn them. They last for 30 days in your inventory. They last forever in a cryopod fit. Uh, fridge cryopod fridge as long as it's powered and, and, and everything else um, you can do your babies which I thought was amazing especially raising like giga babies or something you know you gotta go to bed you gotta sleep sometime so that pauses everything which I, which I again I think is amazing let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the next video peace